I'm pleased to announce that their governments have accepted the United States proposal to end the devastating conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. Right now, a ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah will outline the terms of the new agreement. Also, members of the incoming administration are looking to get rid of fluoride in drinking water. We'll tell you what the experts have to say. And we're following a new opportunity for the Madison School District, the charter school plan that offers students a leg up in the workforce. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. First tonight, the late November cool down continues. We haven't seen anything yet. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano is on the weather patio with a look at our firstborn forecast. Jacob? Yeah, temperatures, they're only going to get colder from here. Now, right now, the temperatures obviously are cold, but overall not too bad. But the big reason for that is not just that the temperatures, you know, right around freezing, but the winds are very calm, so it doesn't feel any colder than what it actually is. Now, if we take a look at some of the temperatures across the region, there are a few locations that have already dropped into the 20s, with the entire region expected to drop into the 20s overnight. And... It's only going to get colder from there, as I mentioned. Now, as I look, as we see the winds mostly calm at this hour, so that is the good news. A little bit breezier as you head towards Lake Michigan. Looking at the forecast throughout the evening, the clouds are going to kind of keep those temperatures pretty steady for the next few hours, but we're still expecting them to drop into the 20s. We'll see middle 20s by the time we get to the early morning hours tomorrow. And here's a look at the overnight lows. Some areas off to the north could actually drop into the teens, so it will be another cold night. But these lows are going to be similar to the highs later in the week. So I'll talk more in detail about just how cold it could get coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. President Biden announcing today that Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon have agreed to a United States brokered ceasefire. That deal will be implemented immediately, but in phases, giving Israel 60 days for the withdrawal of its forces. Back and forth strikes between Israel and Hezbollah over the last year have killed more than 3,500 people in Lebanon and displaced more than a million on the Israeli side. About 90 soldiers and 50 civilians have been killed in the north. Ten of thousands displaced. Villains on both sides will soon be able to safely return to their communities and begin to rebuild their homes, their schools, their farms, their businesses. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the administration is in communication with the incoming Trump administration and hopes continuity leads to peace and security in the region. President-elect Trump is threatening to use tariffs as a way to help stop the flow of illegal drugs and migrants in the United States. When Trump posted about his plan the same day the Justice Department special counsel moved to drop two federal cases against him. Natalie Brand now with the latest from the White House. Making good on a campaign promise, President-elect Donald Trump threatened on social media that one of his first executive orders will be to charge Mexico and Canada a 25% tariff on all products coming into the United States. He also says he'll charge China an additional 10% tariff. Trump says he's putting pressure on these countries to stop the flow of drugs such as fentanyl and migrants from coming across the border. The question really is, how big are these tariffs going to be? Because this is the first salvo. It could be a negotiation. We don't know for sure. Canadian officials say they will discuss the issues with the incoming administration. Mexico's president also said she was willing to talk, but suggested Tuesday that Mexico could respond with tariffs of its own. And a Chinese embassy official warned that no one will win a trade or tariff war. The president-elect notched a big legal win Monday after the Justice Department special counsel effectively dropped two high-profile cases against him. Jack Smith says that Trump's re-election means he cannot be tried on charges that he plotted to overturn the results of the 2020 election. The dismissal is not because they don't stand behind the evidence, they feel it's strong, but because the Constitution mandates that they cannot uh, prosecute a sitting president. Smith also asked a federal appeals court to remove Trump as a defendant in the classified documents case in Florida, which is currently being appealed. Trump called the cases political hijacking. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Trump still faces criminal cases for election subversion in Georgia and sentencing in the so-called hush money case in New York, a conviction that his lawyers are seeking to dismiss. And President-elect Trump's top pick for Health and Human Services Secretary, of course, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., has been outwardly opposed to the use of fluoride use in public water. However, the Wisconsin Dental Association and American Dental Association say they still staunchly support community water fluoridation, calling it effective, safe, and economical to prevent tooth decay. And in studies, there's been a 25% reduction in tooth decay with fluoridated water. And Dr. Chris Hansen with the Wisconsin Dental Association says fluoride is safe. 
Fluoride is very safe. If we uh, remove the community water fluoridation, we will tend to see community communities, most uh, disadvantaged communities, the lowest in the socioeconomic scale will be affected the most. So again, we really feel like this is a very important issue that we really need to protect those people who are the most vulnerable. Well, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has called for all water systems to remove fluoride from public water. He has cited unbacked claims that fluoridation is associated with numerous health issues, including cancer. The Madison School Board will soon vote on a proposed high school focused on building career pathways. It's called Forward Academy, and our Maddie Himes joins us now with more details. Maddie? Charter School lays out individual counseling, career exploration opportunities, and apprenticeships, all with a goal to serve high school students looking to enter careers after graduation. If you don't think you have a, a job at the end of the line, why would you study math? Why would you pay attention? Why would you hone up on your reading skills? John McKenzie, president of Forward Academy, says gaps in traditional high schools tend to leave certain students behind. It's not ability. It goes back to motivation. And I think if we could reach young people and give them hope and opportunity. Mackenzie and partner Michael Johnson with the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County are hoping to serve students in poverty who often fall victim to generational cycles. The partnership already produced one area hub, the Mackenzie Regional Workforce Center in Fitchburg, which focuses on training for careers in the trades. There's a lot of jobs that's available in this community and we want to see young people tap into those jobs and to be prepared for the workforce. And with increasing focus in schools to be, quote, college ready. We know college is not for everybody, right? The Forward Academy is set to have a broader focus on all career paths, helping students prepare for a labor market that UW Associate Professor Laura Dresser says is filled with opportunity. What's clear right now and has been clear for a little while is there's a lot of demand for workers. According to UW's 2024 State of Working Wisconsin report, that opportunity is at a record high. The number of Wisconsin and jobs, quote, shattering previous peaks. You'd just be amazed at all of the uh, careers that are in demand. But that opportunity in mind, the report says black workers are twice as likely to be unemployed as white workers, highlighting an ongoing racial disparity in Wisconsin's labor market. The Forward Academy, according to its proposal, will serve 150 students of differing abilities in its first year. Setting them up in a a career that fits with our skills and interests and then getting them on internships and eventually hold space to give a quote head start to 600 students. Now plans for the academy were submitted to the Madison School Board in early September. A revised application will make its way to the board on December 6. Following that will be a period for public input. MMSD will approve or deny the plans in February and proponents hope to open doors in 2026. Maddie, thank you. A man is in police custody after trying to break into vehicles at a Madison hospital this morning. Security at Unity Point Meritor Hospital called Madison police around 4.30 this morning for a person trying to get into cars. When officers arrived, they found a car sm with a smashed window and the alarm was going off. The suspect was found on the fifth floor and ran to the ground level before officers arrested him. He faces charges of entry to locked vehicles, resisting arrest and damage to property. Police in Holman near La Crosse are investigating after a school bus crashed into a home this morning about 6.20. A school district of Holman school bus traveled through the intersection at 2nd Avenue and State Street, crashing into a home there. There were no children on the bus at the time, but one of the residents inside that home had to be removed but was not seriously hurt. The Madison Arts Commission is celebrating 50 years of dedication to public art and community art making. They're inviting community members and art enjoyers to an event next Thursday at the Madison Children's Museum. From 4 until 8, the event will feature the Madison Circus Space Performers hands-on art making and the band VO5. This event helps highlight support for art at different levels of government. We also have a state entity that's part of state level government, the Wisconsin Arts Board that just celebrated its 50th anniversary two years ago. Um, and in addition, uh, Dane Arts Commission, which is part of uh, Dane County government, will be celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2027. And so we're really fortunate to have art be part of the conversation at all levels of government that affect our lives. 
For more information on the event or the Arts Commission, click on this story on channel3000.com. Well, the River Food Pantry in Madison says this year it has served the most people in its 18-year history. Pantry workers say there has been a 19% increase, serving over 1,500 households last week. Over 50 tons of groceries were provided. That amounts to more than 3,100 meals. If you're in need of meals or assistance, you can visit the pantry location on Darwin Road. That's just across the intersection from Wyndham Way Park. A Beloit mother is spending the Thanksgiving holiday in good spirits and thankful to have her young family by her side. This after years of overcoming some rare health conditions. When Vanessa Fitz was 14, she was diagnosed with lupus. Then at 24, it was another tough diagnosis, pulmonary arterial hypertension. Both can affect pregnancy, creating very high risks for maternal complications. So she never thought having a family would happen. But in April, after help from her doctors, Vanessa gave birth to daughter Lila Rose, saying she's thankful to have her to have her during this upcoming holiday season. We were excited for these days. We were excited for her to be on Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for New Year's, to be able to spend her spend spend it with her. She's a beauty. Vanessa says her nearly eight month old is very happy, healthy, and never gets bored of her many toys. Dr. James Runo, a pulmonologist at UW Health, says most women with pulmonary arterial, arterial hypertension do not get pregnant because of the possible complications, but says Vanessa's dedication to having a family shows how strong and resilient she is. It was exciting to, to that we were able to achieve it and, you know, allow her and her husband now to have a, you know, a healthy baby that is at home with them now. Runo further says he was happy to see his longtime patient have a successful pregnancy. And while the road to motherhood was tough at points, it was worth it to see her family blossom. And meteorologist Jacob Montesano rejoins us next. A complete look at your first born forecast. And how a Madison veterinary service is attracting animal patients from far and wide as the first in the state to offer pets dialysis. That story is just ahead. And on Wall Street, the Dow Jones sees a 124-point gain in Tuesday trading. The Nasdaq up more than 119. S&P adds 34. And we'll be right back. You're watching News 3 Now, brought to you by Cardinal Heating and Air Conditioning. It's your last chance. Menards 11% rebate ends Thanksgiving Day. Help keep your garage warm with a new insulated garage door from Ideal Door. This 9x7 garage door is just $449.99 after 11% rebate. Good maintenance equals longer vehicle life. Menards carries automotive products that help keep your vehicle on the road. Prevent diesel fuel from gelling in colder climates with Howe's Diesel Treat. Only $10.99 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. Get this modern sofa for just $327. It's Black Friday doorbuster deals this weekend at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get this recliner free when you purchase the reclining sofa. This sofa chase, just $397. This classic accent chair, just $120. Deals this hot are while they last only, so come early. Black Friday doorbuster deals start Friday. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Doorbuster! In the heart of Middleton, there's a place where Christmas comes alive year after year. A joyful place where you can experience the magic of the season and take it home with you. The Bruce Company is here to make your holidays unforgettable. Find fresh and forever trees and hand-picked ornaments and the perfect gifts for family and friends. The Bruce Company Garden Center, where the spirit of the season glows and happy memories are made. And the best memories begin at the Bruce Company. You want it, we got it, it's all here. Rose Martin, you want some ice time, a nice time, so good you post it twice time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some cheer, now I'll show you where you gotta be, tell you who you gotta see, who is gonna make you smile. You want it, we got it, it's all here. Rose Martin. Enjoy the magic of the North Pole, just east of O'Hare, with miles of memories waiting to be made. To Rosemont it your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rose Martin. Red 25. You're going down. It's a hut. Life's better when you're under our roof. I'm open. Go deep. Because you'll feel totally protected. Number one. Yeah. All 
so your family can pursue their dreams. Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. The holidays are here, but so is flu season. Tonight, we talked to a family medicine expert about how to celebrate safely while keeping loved ones healthy. And then we're tracking air traffic, road conditions, and weather impacts for your holiday travel. That's tonight at 6. A Madison apartment complex plagued by poor conditions and deadly violence. I hate it because I lost my baby over there. Find out who's being held accountable and what the city is doing to address the problems here. News 3 Now investigates Wednesday at 6. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Welcome back. Madison Veterinary Specialists is the first animal hospital in the state to offer dialysis for pets. Now, the procedure, also known as extracorporeal therapy, can treat various diseases in animals. Our Ellie LaLiberté shows us what's already really helping pets here, Ellie. Yeah, well, meet Ridley. She's a four-year-old mini Irish doodle and is the first doggy dialysis patient in the state. Earlier this month, Ridley was brought into Madison Veterinary Specialist because of an autoimmune disorder she didn't know she had. But her owner says this treatment helped save her life. The extracorporeal therapy or dialysis for pets can treat immune and kidney diseases as well as help remove toxins in the body. It's the first of its kind in Wisconsin and is just one of about 30 in the entire nation. Ridley was MVS's first patient. So she um, went from just lying on the ground, not being able to move, um, very much in distress, breathing heavily um, much of the week while she was getting her blood levels up um, to now she's jumping off and on furniture. She wants to play with her ball again, which is her favorite thing on the planet. Ridley's doctor at MBS tells me she expects to see patients travel from Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri for this treatment. But to keep it going, the hospital needs blood donations. For more information on how your pet could save lives, go to MVSVets.com. Ellie, thank you. Let's get a look now at your first warned forecast. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano joining us once again. Jacob? Yeah, the big story is the cold temperatures, but for the most part, we're not going to see a lot of snow. Just a few small chances of flurries from now through the weekend. But the second of the three things you need to know, that is the big story. And even beyond just through the weekend, we're not expecting any snowfall or any accumulation going forward through next week either. So let's first start with the chances of snow going forward. There are going to be a few chances of flurries here and there, but most of the days and nights, there's only gonna be about a 10 to 20% chance of flurries for each individual area. And if it does snow, it's not going to accumulate. A lot of the region though, likely not gonna see any snow throughout the rest of the week. So let's take a look at the temperatures for tomorrow. You know, not too bad, still a little bit below normal, but a lot milder compared to what we're gonna see later in the week. Highs will be in the 30s, a little bit more cloud cover compared to today though. And as we get towards Thanksgiving, you can start to see those temperatures fall. Highs will only be around 30 with more cloudy skies again a few small chances of flurries but nothing is going to accumulate too much and as we head towards the weekend that's when things are really going to cool down these are the high temperatures for the day with highs only in the middle to lower 20s and we're also going to see some breezy weather so the wind chill values will likely be even colder now as we look at the full 10 day high temperature forecast we're going to be in the 20s from friday all the way through tuesday of next week and even beyond that we're still going to see temperatures below normal as the normal level is supposed to be in the middle to upper 30s this time of the year. Now, comparing the next 10 days to the past two weeks is pretty interesting considering every single day in the past two weeks has been above normal. Some days though just by a few degrees, but every day in the next 10 days is expected to be below normal. And in some cases, it's gonna be around 15 degrees below normal. So it is going to be a dramatic shift and we're starting to see that shift happen right now. Now, I also wanna talk about the wind chills. As I mentioned, they're going to be pretty cold. They're really going to start to feel cold Thanksgiving morning where those wind chill values could be in the teens and as we get towards Black Friday during the morning wind chills will be in the single digits and then possibly below zero for Saturdays. We're going to see consistent winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts could be up to 25 miles per hour during this time. So it is certainly going to feel very, very cold. And this is right at the start of December. Now for Sunday,
Friday. It's also going to see we're also going to see those wind chill values possibly below zero during the morning. So if you haven't gotten your winter stuff out yet, now is the time to do so. Uh, it is going to be a very cold Thanksgiving week, but especially the weekend after Thanksgiving. Highs in the 20s, actual temperatures dropping in the teens, and as I just mentioned, wind chill values, especially during those morning hours, could drop into the single digits if not below zero. There's not really a huge end in sight to the cold weathers. We're going to remain cold through much of next week. All right, Jacob, thank you. And next at five, how a young football fan was denied an autographed football signed by a 49ers star just because of his Packers gear. The story coming up. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Technology is everywhere, and our kids are embracing it to learn, play, and socialize. But with endless ways to access the digital world, monitoring their screen time can be tough. So SSM Health and News 3 Now created the Time for Kids Digital Playbook. Join us on air and online for stories and strategies to help your family navigate, set rules, and stay safe in the ever-evolving digital age. Let's focus on tech together by taking Time for Kids. Winning at Hook Chunk Gaming just got bigger, like mega bigger. When you win a hand paid jackpot at Ho Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, you're automatically entered into our mega jackpot winners quarterly drawings with a grand prize drawing on January 18th to win a new Jeep Wagoneer Carbot and a chance for $100,000 in cash. Jackpot weekly drawings are going on now. Mondays, 10 winners, $500 in rewards play. Ho Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, your odds are better here. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. I just this morning made a new hole in, in my belt, so that was super exciting. Why are women everywhere choosing Sonobello, the advanced solution for permanent fat removal? I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all, and my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage advantage of Sonobello's best offer of the year. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Check it out, snatch waist. Loving, loving, loving the results. It will change your life, it did for me. Call 1-888-510-6198. Now, or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. And now for a weather update. The polar vortex is bringing a lot of snow. Good news for a white Christmas, but just be safe getting home. This storm will be here through the night, as will I. What? <laughs> the December to Remember sales event. Get special offers on select ES models. Dashing has been very helpful for me. Definitely brought me a significant amount of extra income and allowed me to comfortably pay my bills and live a lifestyle and get out and have some fun. Portable benefits will be great. It will allow me to afford health care, dental insurance, and vision insurance. That's great because, as you can see, I wear glasses. I, I will need to get uh, more eye exams because I'm getting up there in age. I love the freedom and flexibility of dashing, and portable benefits will give me an additional peace of mind. Novels is your mattress destination for your best night's sleep. Enjoy the luxury and comfort of a beauty rest mattress. Right now, save up to $600. Add an adjustable base and save up to $400 more. There yet. It meets innovation. Beauty Rest Black mattresses start at just $36 per month when you use Steinhoffel's 60 month financing. Plus, you get up to $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Shop in store or online at steinhoffel's.com.
Just a programming note, the Wisconsin Huddle, a Channel 3 show centered on Badger sports stories, has moved up its showing this week. Normally the show airs Fridays, but due to the Thanksgiving holiday and the Badger game taking place on Friday, it will air at 6.30 tomorrow night. The UW Badgers will be taking on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. The Badgers, as we've been talking about, need to win this one to be bowl eligible. So that'll air tomorrow night right after News 3 at 6. A young Packers fan says he was left disappointed Pointed and a little embarrassed. That happened after he was told he won an autograph football over the weekend, only to be passed over for the prize. Ben Crumholz reports. This weekend, 14-year-old Joseph De La Rosa and his brother Samuel Strom wanted to show their uncle, a 49ers fan, what Wisconsin hospitality is all about. But the day before the game, when they went with their uncle to a 49ers tailgate party, the brother's experience wasn't what they hoped for. <laughs> De La Rosa was selected as the winner of an autographed Christian McCaffrey football. As you'd expect, that didn't go over so well in a bar filled with Niners fans. And obviously, you probably think pretty highly of, of your Packers, right? Can you just tell me what you think of the 49ers? It doesn't matter! The rally's organizers denied De La Rosa the ball, instead picking another person, a 49ers fan, to give the ball to. I felt embarrassed or judged and kind of ashamed. And I was frustrated. I'm like, well, just because we were wearing Packer gear, we couldn't get the ball. In the video, you can see the person on the microphone appears to tell De La Rosa he'd give him something in a little bit. And what they gave him initially instead of the ball was a pair of sunglasses that everybody was receiving at the event. Whoever walked in, you got a pair of these 49er sunglasses. The brothers say eventually someone from the 49ers came by and took down their contact information and told them they would send something else. We reached out to the 49ers to see if they were going to do anything. After our interview with the brothers, a team official emailed us that they had shipped out a signed helmet to the 8th grader. However, it was signed by safety Talanoa Hufanga, not reigning NFL Offensive Player of the Year, Christian McCaffrey. I really wanted the ball since I'm a big sports guy. I like to collect stuff. I have other signed balls by um, the Packers. Um, it would be awesome to get it. In a bit of irony, De La Rosa wore a Grinch mask to the game. Unfortunately, this story appears it won't end with him getting the gift he was originally supposed to receive. In Green Bay, Ben Crumpholz, Fox 11 News. Well, this contest for the autograph football was free for anyone to enter. We'll get a final check on the forecast when we come back. Steinhoffels is your mattress destination for your best night's sleep. Enjoy the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest mattress. Right now, save up to $600. Add an adjustable base and save up to $400 more. Upgrade your sleep to the Beautyrest Black, where luxury meets innovation. Beautyrest Black mattresses start at just $36 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month financing. Plus, you get up to $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Score the lowest prices of the year right now at Brothers Main's Black Friday Sale. You won't find lower prices anywhere. And enjoy our free delivery. Shop family-owned Brothers Main's low price guarantee on brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Feel like family. Brothers Main. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and free fitness memberships at more than 25,000 locations. Call 1-888-296-4080 today to get your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-888-296-4080. Dean Health Plan, right here with you.
It's your last chance. Menard's 11% rebate ends Thanksgiving Day. We carry easy-to-install storage solutions that help maximize your space. This Rubbermaid Pantry Kit is $109.99 after rebate. Add warmth and elegance to any room with soft and luxurious area rugs from Natco. Get a Lynn area rug for $119.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Come on, baby. Don't be like that. We can get through this. I know we've had some hiccups, but I can't afford to lose you. A new furnace just isn't in my budget. Worried about breaking the bank? Ask us about our monthly payment plans. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, the breaking news. President Biden says Israel and Hezbollah have agreed to a ceasefire after more than a year of deadly fighting in Lebanon. The conditions of the deal that will go into effect within hours and could it change the war in Gaza? That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. Then we go to Jacob, final check of the forecast. Yeah, the big story, obviously, the cold temperatures, just a few small chances of flurries, can't completely rule them out, but obviously, you know, we've been talking about it for a while, it is going to get cold. We will start to see those temperatures uh, really fall Thanksgiving, and then again for Black Friday. Obviously, if you have any plans, just be prepared to bundle up. It's going to continue over the weekend. Overnight lows are going to be in the teens, maybe even single digits with early morning wind chills possibly below zero, especially for Saturday and Sunday mornings. As we head towards next week, it's not going to change too much. We may see some temperatures rise back into the 30s for the middle and end of the week, but for the most part, we're going to consistently see cold temperatures. And now, although it's going to be a cold end to the month, the month of November overall will be above average, but it looks like December might be the only month of the year that is below average. We'll see how the rest of the month pans out, though. We're back in 30 minutes for news for now at 6. CBS Evening News is next.